this because this is the start of my light fast tests on eight of my paints where I'm not 100% sure they're completely light fast even though they say they are on the tube on some of them. I'm a little bit doubtful because of the pigments or things I've heard from other people. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I've swatched them out. Um, they have the date on them. It's actually the 24th today. I painted these on the 22nd, but they're actually going on the windowsill on the 24th of April. And we're going to be checking back on them um, maybe in a couple of weeks. And then as the months go by, we'll have a look and see whether they've changed at all. So I've cut them down the center because I'm going to put half on the windowsill and the other half will go um, in a drawer so they're away from any light and yeah they'll be our control section so we can match them back up and we'll be able to see whether there has been any fading or any discoloration or something like that but I've never done this before so this will be quite interesting. Um, you can see that I have quite a few Daniel Smith colours here. The Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, which they say is light fast, but other people have found isn't. The Mayan Dark Blue, I've heard the same thing about this one. I really hope this one keeps its colour because it's so gorgeous. Um, the Road Night Genuine, Shell Pink by Holbein. The PO73 in that is sometimes a tricky pigment, so um, yeah, that's why that one's in there. The Prussian Green, PB27. I bought this before I knew about PB27. Um, PB27 is a tricky pigment. We might talk more about that <laughs> as I go through these tests, but I just wanted to quickly show you today the ones I'm putting on the windowsill. Um, we have Mayan Blue Genuine, Moon Glow. So beautiful, but I have a feeling that the red in it is going to fade. And um, this Dusk Pink by Rembrandt now, uh, this should be all right, but I've heard that perhaps one of the pigments in it is slightly tricky. We will see. Um, it got quite a good rating. Um, I forget which pigment it was now. Um, on the website Handprint, he said that he had done some tests and found that it was okay, but to do your own light fast tests. But as I said, I'll go into more detail about these um, as we go through, but I just wanted to document it for the vlog.
Mm-hmm. Uh -huh.